glad I did this, otherwise it's been a waste of a day again. Okay, other than going to the gym, somehow I've wasted the entire day. Uh, right now, there's a lot happening. There's a YouTube Space Toronto Halloween party, there's a speed dating event, uh, and I've decided to go to the annual general meeting of my condo. So I'll go to that, vote for the new board, uh, and then there's a social committee wine club thing at 7.45. I, I don't think, well, I'm not going to bring a bottle of wine. I don't have a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon. I can't afford one, but maybe I'll show up anyways. I do want to show you later is a bunch of emails uh, just to tell you sort of things that have been happening online just so I can delete them. I like telling my phone like you things just so like it's it's registered in the world and then I can delete it. And also I want to do some decluttering, delete some uh, subscriptions to emails I have, throw out some papers and stuff so I can be laser focused on doing a celebrity gossip report, which is now, you know, this fantastical, fictional, legendary thing that I'm never actually going to do, but I want to. Oh, and remind me, sorry, my mouth's watering because I just had my, my vitamins and a couple of them are chewable. Remind me to go down to the concierge later because I've got a package that's arrived and it's either the replacement microphone because I returned mine or... Or it's the ketchup that P. Diddle Bop, Doodle Bop, whatever Pauline's name is on Instagram, that she sent me. So we gotta find out, is it Mike or Ketchup? That should be my stage name, Mike Ketchup at your service. Okay, I feel like I'm either very early or very late. Uh, there's, there's water left, so maybe early? But like, when does this start? Um, so that's how I got there on time because I thought it started at 6 and then I got there 20 minutes late for me but actually 10 minutes before it actually started which is a trick my parents do they tell me something is starting early earlier later I guess they tell me it starts earlier and then I actually wind up showing on time because I'm late hmm. anyways uh, I just got a notice on my Google Calendar saying 6.30 AGM meeting which means that uh, well I should have checked my calendar I should also probably, I should have, you know what I should have done, I should have just sent in a proxy for this thing and gone to the YouTube Halloween party, done networking and met people. This is like not conducive to my celebrity Josh growth at all. <sighs> Which I could actually still do. I think the vote's going to be right at the beginning of the meeting, I could go to that for 10 minutes and then the Halloween party's from like 6 to 9. So I could, I could do it all. Huh. I could do it all, I can be it all. All right, this is a YouTuber in my building. What's your name? What's your channel? What's Richardson your... Deckham, youtube.com slash Richardson DX. And are you on Instagram? Yes, I am. Same name. Richardson DX? Richardson DX everywhere. All right, and uh, maybe I'll see you at the wine meeting later? Uh, the, the wine club? Most likely, yeah. Okay, I got the package from the concierge. I don't think this is a microphone. I think, oh God, it might be ketchup. And by the way, I noticed uh, some more purchases on my Amazon affiliate, so I made some money yesterday. That might be this. Wait a minute, this might be a clue. Josh Ketchup Lover. Oh my god. Because I'm a ketchup lover? Or maybe P. Doodle Dip wants to be my lover? My lover number 34? Well, a little more realistically, she would be like my lover number four. Or maybe like number... Number one. Doesn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna leave the ketchup here, go to the meeting, and we'll unbox it later. Whoa! Exciting! So now everybody's here, and I've got my ballots. I feel like a, like a grown-up. I'm at a condo annual general meeting. I'm voting. Uh, when I was in a second city like 15 years ago, we did a sketch about a condo annual general meeting, and I didn't really understand, but now Christine is running for the board of directors, and there she is, and she just came up to me and said, Josh, did you solve that two mics for garage band issue? So I'm like, Yes, good memory. She's paying attention to my vlogs. Are you paying? Hey, audience, are you paying attention too? Here, uh, on the up to, the, to my right is um, our treasurer Brian Davies, uh, and then we have um, the secretary. Those those interest rates. So if they were off the mark by that much, or if perhaps our building. Uh, so uh, what the board uh, is required to do. Um, and what they're doing, I believe, is they're engaging a qualified engineering firm to give them... The um, other areas, like in um, Napa Valley, that are a little bit on the more drier side, is typically a little bit 
on the more fluidier side. So we'll see. How it is. And I don't know what it. The other one I was looking at was uh, there's a, actually a Game of Thrones cabaret wine. Oh, oh, I had that one. You know that yeah. bright green Game of Thrones? I know. Okay. Yeah, maybe next time I'll get Okay, so in the background, you can see we have two massage rooms, and there was like a professional masseur there who's talking to her patient about. Uh, what they're gonna work on in the future or whatever. Anyways, I'm just walking to the washroom and now I'm walking back to the wine social. It used to be called the wine tasting and then they decided that was too intimidating and now they call it wine social and now it's packed with people and it started at like 7.45 so it's obviously very popular. We all introduced ourselves and I told everyone I was gonna do YouTubing with Richardson who's at the thing now and uh, everybody liked my idea of uh, starting a Facebook page. People came up and said, oh, that's so great that there's gonna be one. Somebody pointed out that there already is one, but it hasn't been used, and I know, I've looked at it, and it hasn't been posted on for years, and I messaged them, and they're not responding, so I'm taking over, I'm starting fresh. So I thought maybe I should like interview people at this wine social uh, to make a video for the Facebook page to show people what they're missing if they're not coming to these things and show people outside the building like what a great building it is, but maybe not today. But you can see how much fun it is. Everybody's brought, like, e okay, every week there's a, or every month when they do it, there's a theme. So you, they choose a kind of wine. And so this uh, week or month or whatever, okay, let me start again. Each wine social, they choose a different type of wine. So this one is Cabernet Sauvignon, and everybody's, everybody's supposed to bring a bottle of their fave, fave Cab Sauve, and then present it and say why they like it. And then people have also brought some munchies, and there's some dark chocolate, which is very... So they did give me half a glass of wine, and I drank it, and so now I'm hammered. Uh, but you'll also notice, this is my favorite room in the building. It's called the Sports Lounge. I love this low, deep couch. And I want one of those for my apartment. Okay, that was a blast. And I just came upstairs with my two neighbors. Where are they from? I think England. They've got one of those hello accents. Um, and they were like trying to add the Facebook page that I started for the condo, but we couldn't find it on his phone. So I'm gonna have to, gonna have to give the page more of a title or do something to it. I was thinking, cause the condo is called Festival Tower. I could call it Festival Tower Today, like my website right now is joshrackless.today, or I could call it the Festival Tower Times, or I don't know. But anyways, actually all week I was sort of looking forward to tonight because I knew it was going to be a busy night with whatever meetings I went to, but no more screwing around. Tomorrow's a big day. I'm going to make a video of me unboxing P. Diddle Doop's uh, ketchup. I'm going to film me, I'm going to film me making my, my chili before the beef in my fridge goes bad because it's been sitting there forever, and this is what happened last time. I let it sit there forever because I thought I was gonna film it and then I didn't, and then when I finally made it, it kind of tasted gross. And I guess tomorrow I'll show you the emails that I want to delete so that I can declutter. Uh, just like, you know, I took these Ikea flyers and I'm throwing them out because I am not gonna spend time making a comedy video making jokes about somebody else's Ikea headlines. Because I had that idea that as a copywriter who used to write Ikea flyers, I should make a funny video of me reviewing the headlines. But I don't think that's good use of time. And I don't think I should go through my home hardware emails reviewing those headlines either. Like if I look at what videos on my YouTube right now are getting lots of views, there's like over a thousand for that interview with the Egyptian actors from that movie because people are interested in those actors. And there's like maybe one on my daily vlogs. But I am growing. Remember in the summer I was making like five bucks a month from my YouTube and then like a month ago I was up to 10. I was like, oh my God. I just went over $15 yesterday and today. I'm at like 1544. And I've made like $2 on Amazon. So, so I've tripled my YouTube income in the past couple months just from doing these vlogs. And Amazon, I literally just started that this week and I'm asking people to click on my link and it's starting to work. So big things are happening. Big, big, big. Oh, and I had some good jokes uh, in the annual general meeting of the condo. They were talking about how they're finally getting results from a study they were doing to see how much uh, hydro bills we should be paying as opposed to the restaurants downstairs and they were like you know we've been talking about this for years which is true I've been in this building for like eight years and I know it's always been an issue and I said it's gonna be like our JFK files finally being released everybody was like ha 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 they were laughing
And then when I was getting on the elevator, when we were all leaving the meeting, uh, somebody on the board said, you know, we set a record. We had like 122 people actually at the meeting. Like this is a new record or no, maybe not that many in the meeting, but maybe that many proxies. And anyways, so I said, I, I did, I did a Donald Trump voice. I was like, it's, it, it was the biggest inauguration ever for the condo or something. And they were all like, yeah, <laughs> it was huge. It was huge. So yeah, I'm very funny. I talked to this woman at the wine party there. Uh, she was saying she has a couple of daughters that, that, uh, that live in Toronto. So she sold her house and moved from Kitchener to, and she's living in this building. She's been renting a bit, but she's moving out anyways. So she's got this, uh, her, her daughter's fiance is from Australia and he's a project manager for these really big houses, like 35,000 sweet, 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 what square foot houses. Uh, he's working on one that backs on to Drake's house in the bridal path. Oh yeah, we got on that topic because I was talking about how I wish I had a bigger fridge because now that I'm cooking, I want to store stuff. And she's like, a lot of these rich houses have an entire room just for Costco stuff. So I need to be part of that world, the rich people world. She said like, hey, you could live in the coach house of one of these people. I'm like, yes, I could like water their plants. I could run their Facebook page. You know, I'll say, listen, I'll just, you know, you don't have to pay me. I'll live here and I'll rent out my condo. So if anybody is rich watching this, I'll come live with you. Also, if you're poor watching this, I'll come live with you. I'm not, I'm not like picky. Um, if you're a woman, I'll date you. If you're a guy, I'll be your friend. If you're a small child, I'll play games with you. If you're a dog, I'll pet you. Okay, let's say goodnight for now. I'm sure I could talk forever, but tomorrow we got a lot of work to cover, so I hope you're ready for it. It's gonna be video palooza. Goodnight, Rock Pack. Okay, quick correction. I was just sitting here eating some yogurt and watching Seth Meyers, and I saw that I had a message request from Thomas Kelly on Instagram. And you can see that he said, we're Irish, Josh, because he was watching my story. And I had noticed that when I saw his Facebook request and I thought, well, I'll just correct it tomorrow, but I'll correct it now. Here, here's the long reply I just gave to him. Now, you'll notice I didn't actually say what I thought they were. I said one of those British accents, which by that I kind of mean England, Ireland, Scotland, like, cause here's the thing. I didn't really think it was British cause I would have just said British, right? But it, I was like, oh, what is it? It's not like Australian, but maybe, well, maybe it's New Zealand, but it's not New Zealand, but it's not Scottish. Cause I can do a, I can do a Scottish accent. Hello, I'm from Scotland. And Irish just slipped my mind. I think because Ireland is like this precious green jewel. It's so rare. Like you don't even think it's a possibility that Irish people could, be in Canada, much less like in the apartment next door. Like Australians, they're everywhere. They're crawling everywhere. Like if you go to David's Tea, if that's even still in business, they were all Australians. So you see them everywhere. And Scottish, it's like, yeah, we're all Scottish. Everybody's Scottish, you know? I don't know what I meant by everybody's Scottish, but I did play a Scotsman in a commercial where I was that little mini man. Like, cause I did Mike Myers kind of Scottish accent because it's funny when you yell. I'm not, I'm not sure why they call the mini. It only works if you're yelling in Scottish, which, which is actually why I was cast in the commercial because the director and my art director were like, oh, we want to try using this weird Russian guy. But the client's like, no, it was funny when Josh did it with his Scottish accent. So I was the guy, but my art director, oh God, he was such a, anyway, he was not a nice guy. Uh, but anyways, he dressed me in this green, a shirt like this, so everybody thinks I was Irish, but I wasn't Irish, I was being Scottish, but I was a little mini man, I wasn't anything, I just had a funny accent. But anyways, so that's why I, see, I do appreciate Ireland, I even just slipped into an Irish accent, I do appreciate Ireland, because, well, I, I have red hair, like not anymore, but I am a ginger by birth, and I figured I want to have a ginger baby, and if you have two gingers have a baby, it's guaranteed, it's guaranteed that the baby will be ginger so and also uh gingers are going extinct so i i want to have a ginger baby so what i've been doing is moving my tinder location to dublin because i read that um that the highest population of gingers is in dublin like the percentage of the population or maybe the actual population i don't know so i moved my location there turns out hardly anybody on tinder in dublin is is ginger like nobody i've actually i'm still talking to some indian woman who lives in dublin 
So that didn't work out in terms of spreading my my ginger genes, um, but I'll keep at it. I obviously, I guess my neighbor girl has a boyfriend. She like they they live together, the Irish couple. So I can't date her unless they break up. But that'd be awkward. We're neighbors, anyways. And I don't even know them. I met them at the summer party, and I haven't seen them since. What was my point? Oh yeah, well she's not ginger anyway, so there's no mating. Anyways, as we know, Thomas is watching this Instagram story, so I just want to make it clear. I'm just kidding. I'm not, I'm not, just ignore everything I just said for the past five minutes, other than, hey, I love your accent. I'm glad you're Irish. Nice to meet you, neighbor. And I don't mean nice to meet you, neighbor. Like, I know we met at the summer party in the summer, but like tonight at the wine party, I said, hey, how's it going? I shook his hand. He's like, we met at the summer party. No, how would he say it? He would say, oh, we met at the summer party. And I'm like, oh yeah, I know, I know that. I know, cause yeah. Anyway, they can probably hear me talking through the wall. Um, because that's them in there. So uh, I'll stop talking loudly because I'm keeping them up and I was supposed to go to bed anyway. So maybe I'll have them over to interview them for a podcast. Would you like that? Okay. And there, as you see, uh, the response was Thomas saying, ah, oh, you're grand, just a gentle nudge for the next time. Uh, but that was before he watched this whole rant. So hopefully I'm still grand. Good night, everyone.